Okay, this is the third part in a short series devoted to what can be accomplished with only two shuffles. So today the shuffles we're going to look at are a 50% deal as well as an even or odd up jog. Okay, so we'll kind of show you both of those. So as you can see here, I have a good selection of card values, suits, and colors. Okay, so we'll go ahead and gather those. Okay, so which of those two would you like first? Just a 50% deal? Okay, so how that works is you just count to the table half the cards, which here would be four. Okay, you just set those down. Now you're free to flip over either one of these. It is truly a free choice. So maybe you'll flip this one here. Now you're free to stack them however you like. You want the left and right? Okay, very good. Would you like to do an up jog now? Okay, so this is how the even or odd up jog works. You push forward, you jog forward the even position cards. These would be cards in positions two, four, six, or eight. Okay, so this is like position one, then two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, and then what you do is you just strip them out. Okay, so I have the even position cards here and the odd. Okay, now you're free to flip over either one of these or not flip them. It really is a, a free choice. And then we'll randomly stack them. You want the packet on the right flipped? Okay, I'll flip it. How would you like these stacked? Left on right? Okay, very good. You'd like to do another 50% dealing. Okay, one, two, three, four. Okay, would you like to flip either one? No, not this time. Okay, just right on left. That's just fine. Okay, up jog. Okay, let's do an up jog next. That's just fine. Okay, I'll strip those out. Uh, would you like either one flipped? Left one? Left one flipped? Okay, very good. How would you like these stacked? Right on left. Okay. Another one of those? Okay, that's fine. So we'll push forward the even position cards, strip those out. Don't flip this time, but stack right on left. Okay, very good. Would you like to do some more 50% dealing? You would, okay. So one, two, three, four, I'll set those down. Would you like to flip either one? The left pile, okay, that's fine. How would you like to stack these? Right on left? Very good. Great. And you would like one final up jog. Okay, we'll do that. Now, when you go to do this, you can do as many of these 50% dealings with random flipping and stacking, and as many of these up jog, even or odd, with random flipping or stacking as well. Okay, so we just strip those out. You want the right one flipped, okay? And then the left one stacked on top. Okay, very good, okay. Now, I think you would have to agree that really no one could know completely the state of the cards here. Now, we may have spotted a few cards face up or something, but um, given all of these free choices made by you, and that will be the case when you go to do this, those choices will be outside your control. You, you, you're giving the spectator a whole bunch of free choices that they can make however they like. Okay, and so for that reason, you can't really control the ending state of this packet. But despite all of that, a very remarkable thing has proven to be true, that if we take advantage of a very special spelling, it's actually the name of a famous musical group, ABBA, and its inside-out version, which would be B-A-A-B, -B, we can actually separate these cards into two very different but interesting packets of four cards, okay? And let me just tell you what we're going to do before we do it, okay? And, and this will prove the magical quality of this word ABBA here. We're going to end up, so I'm, I'm making a prediction right now without even knowing exactly where the cards are. We are going to separate the face cards from the non-face cards by just performing this very special dealing here, okay? So what you do is you have in mind ABBA and then kind of its inside out version, B-A-A-B. -A -B. So we'll put like A's here, the top card will be an A, and then the second card will be a B. We'll just spell this. So, so A's here, B's here, okay? So I'll go A, B, B, A, B, 
A, A, B, okay? And now I have already made a prediction as to what we would do. Okay, let's just check to see if it's looking good. Well, it's looking promising. Um, I said that we would separate the face cards. Well, so far we have the face cards from the number cards. Now we don't know what the face down cards are. So let's take a look. Did ABBA help us achieve real magic? Well, that's looking pretty good. <laughs> oh boy, look at that. Okay, let's just check these here. Jack, queen, queen, king. It indeed achieved genuine magic. Okay, so how does this work? Um, so let me go ahead and um, just step through it and you can do this right away. It'll work for you every time. Okay, so what you need to do is you need to choose a what's called a dichotomous characteristic, like uh, red cards versus black cards. Here it's face cards versus number cards. Okay, so some way to distinguish one group of cards from another. So these are all face cards and these are number cards. Okay, so that's the dichotomous characteristic that I chose for this performance. But you can choose a different one. And then we construct something called a Bessie sequence of order eight. Okay, and I will include a link in the description below to the playlist that talks about Bessie sequences and quasi Bessie sequences, what they are, how you use them, how I came about these remarkable sequences. But to put it into that organization, we take advantage of the name ABBA because the structure of that word together with what's called its inversion will allow us to put it into this Bessie sequence structure. Okay. And also I want to point out um, this word, this should be think. Think of the music group ABBA. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. So why don't we designate, let's say, face cards as quote A's and then number cards as B's. So you just build this. That's all you do. So I, I go A and then B, B and then A. Now we're over here. B. A, A, B, okay? So that will be the special arrangement of the cards that will be unharmed by many, many of the systematic shuffling procedures used today. That's the remarkable thing about these Bessie sequences. You can mix them in just countless ways, but yet they're unharmed you still have tremendous knowledge of the organization of the cards. It really is quite remarkable. So go to the playlist in the description below. Okay, and so you can go through and like I said, you can mix this as much as you like. This is an even up jog, right? And so forth. Maybe this time we won't um, flip them. That's fine. We'll do a 50% dealing, right? Random stack, maybe you want left on right. So you can do as many of those with that flipping option. You really can, you can flip either half. And then when you're done and the spectator's content that boy, the cards are just beyond the knowledge of anyone, just go back to your special spelling here, ABBA and then B-A-A-B. -A -B. So you just go A-B-B-A-B-A-A-B. And you are guaranteed to separate the face cards from the number cards, okay? And that's guaranteed because of this special Bessie sequence structure that I talk about, okay? So this is an effect you can do right away. It will always work for you. There's nothing left to chance because it's all driven by some really amazing, powerful mathematics. So thank you for watching and take a look at other videos on the Absolute Math Magic channel.